Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with practical statistics. You can call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen for any doubts or full videos on our courses. Let's begin with our first question. A research agency conducted a survey in 11 cities and adjoining rural areas. When they were asked the question given in quotes, 59% expressed their willingness to stay with their children. 80% of the respondents living in rural areas prefer to stay with their children. And 48% of the respondents covered in the survey were from rural areas. We need to prepare a two-way table to represent the data. Let's see how to do this. This is how the table will look like. Notice we were given 80% of the respondents living in rural areas prefer to stay with their children. Thus, 48 into 80 by 100 equals to 38.4. This is the value over here. Now, we were given 59%. Thus, the remaining was 41. The star here notes the calculation that I've done. Other figures are obtained just by subtracting the available value from the respective totals, such as 9.6. Now we calculate 41 since the total percentage is 100, and from 41 we subtract 9.6. Also, we were given 20.6 and 31.4. Thus, this is the value that we obtain. Moving on to the next question. The following data have been obtained from a survey conducted on 1000 people from randomly selected places of India, of which 46% were women, while there is a long way to go before people access female birth as happily as male birth. 87% believe that someday the birth of a daughter will be as welcome as that of a son and 35% insist that they will be so in 5 years of which 57.14% are females 38% insist that this will be so in 10 years of which 40% are females and the rest of those are 87% and that will happen in 20 years of which 36.43% are females it is very important to notice all the data that are given in a question now we need to prepare a suitable contingency table to represent the data. Let's see how the table will look like. Before moving on to the table, first we need to do the calculations such as total number of females equals to 46% of 1000 and this equals 460 similarly total number of males equals to 540 that is 1000 minus 460 now number of respondents whose answer is never equals to 13 percent of 1000 which equals 130 similarly we'll be doing it for the other ones i'll do it just in a jiffy for making it faster for you now these are what we need to be calculated i've marked it in green further we'll be calculating the number of females and different categories in the table let's see how to do those there's a number of females in five years which was given as 57.14 percent is roughly equals to 200 40 percent in the 10 years equals to 152 and 36.43 in the 15 year category roughly comes to 51 now the number of females for the last category
which is never equals 460 minus 200 plus 152 plus 51 equals to 59 and the number of males are obtained by deducting the number of females from their respective totals now let's see what the table looks like this is what the table will be in the top one we have taken gender male female and 5 years 10 years 20 years and ever notice the total is 1540 and 460 as we had calculated and 200 females 152 51 similarly as we calculated and the rest of the values are obtained henceforth moving on to the next question the following data on liking of pizza at lunch were obtained from 400 teenagers of Delhi and Calcutta now we need to examine whether there exists any association between the liking of pizza and the city they live in we are given with the following table now we need to use the measures of difference of proportions and the Kramer's coefficient of teenagers of Delhi and Calcutta let's see how to do this one first we find the difference of proportion measure this equals to 90 by 140 minus 200 by 260 this equals 0 0.64 minus 0 0.77 equals to minus 0 0.13 now next we find the Kramer's coefficient of teenagers of Delhi and Calcutta chi square equals to 400 into 90 minus 90 into 60 minus 50 into 200 whole square whole divided by 140 into 260 into 290 into 110 and upon calculation this comes to 7.259 therefore Kramer's coefficient C equals root over 7.259 divided by 400 into 2 minus 1 which equals to 0 0.1347 and these are our answers let's do one more question a randomly chosen group of 150 non-smokers and 100 smokers were observed for a year the following data relate to the number of them who developed lung cancer during that period we are given with the following data in the table now we need to compute the different measures of association between the attributes, smoking habit and incidence of lung cancer. Forgive me for this small spelling mistake that has been done. Let's see how to do this sum. Now I have done all the different measures of association between the two attributes please see the calculations upon further notice we see each and every of these associations shows a slightly positive association between the two attributes smoking habit and incidence of lung cancer With this, we come to an end of another great video. Please like, subscribe, click on the notification button and WhatsApp or call us for any doubts or for full videos on our courses.